1994 on an L Mitsubishi 3000 GT here. So it's the 3 litre V6 automatic with the overdrive on the stick. Uh, first stretch is 1999. Such a cool car. I think they've aged very, very well, these cars as well. Interior's lovely on them. Uh, so it's the 3 litre petrol NA, this one. Body width wise, we're going to start off the bonnet with our way around onto the interior. We'll go for a cold engine start up. It's got loads of toys on it as well. Of the bonnet itself, you'll see we have got a slight colour discrepancy. I think the front bumper's been painted some, but which is pretty, uh, pretty much well it's to be expected really on a car of this age, but it's all nice and tidy. The bonnet itself, the paintwork is a little bit uh, a little bit hazy, so it's definitely the bonnet. I think it's been painted it's a little bit hazy if you look to it, a little bit dry in places. And if you look a little bit closer, there's a few little rings here of reaction, but again, not too noticeable. Obviously, the colour discrepancy is a little bit more noticeable. Quite a rare car, this one. As you come down the wing top on the left hand side, got a little bit of lack of flake there at the very, very top. Again, not that noticeable at all. Headlights are lovely and clear on both sides. Bumper corner and the bumper itself, nice and tidy. Lovely and scuff free on the left hand side. A few little scuffs, uh, little stone chips, sorry, here and there as you come across the front bumper. And you will notice a slight little ding there on the right hand side of the front bumper. Coming round onto the right hand side, wheel arch and wheel and bumper there, all nice and tidy. A little bit of a mark at the front corner of the wing there. Corrosion wise, we're lovely and tidy all the way across that front wing with no rust coming through, nice and straight down the whole wing. But again, a little bit of imperfection of paint here and there. Correct wheels all the way around, which could do with a refurb. A little bit of corrosion underneath the lacquer there on the wheels. Across the lower half of the sill section, that little moulding in the body kit, lovely and tidy, no complaints there on the driver's side. As you come up onto the driver's door, it's lovely and straight across the whole door. No big chips out the back edge there and no heavy scratching around the handle. There's one or two little chips and a few little stone chips to the door itself. The room where a cap is crack free on both sides. The glass is unlaminated as well, which is nice. Lovely and tidy, that big windscreen. As we come round onto the roof from the right hand side, you'll see a few little marks here and there, a few little stone chips. Got a little bird poo mark here and there, but again, nothing really to complain about too much. You can see a few little marks there towards the back. Coming back down that right hand side door onto the quarter again, lovely and tidy around the arch. Tiny little bit underneath the paint there, just starting as you come around the arch nice and slow. We'll see what a little bit of corrosion just starting at the very, very rear of that right hand side wheel arch, but again, not too noticeable at all. Lovely and tidy across the rest of the rear, rear quarter with a little bit of paint flake to the rear pillar on that right hand side. No heavy marking around the field for the cap. As you come around the back bumper, we are scuff free on that right hand side. Lights are nice and clear on the right and the left hand side with no cracks in them. And as you come down the left hand side bumper corner, once again, we're scuff free across the back bumper. Lovely entirely across that whole back bumper. A little storage of paint flake by the number plate. And the odd little mark in the bumper where we've had things put in the boot over the years. Coming up onto the spoiler and to the boot lid itself. Across the spoiler is nice and tidy with a few little stone chip like appeal here and there but with it being such a light color you don't really notice that the camera doesn't pick it up you can just see it there in the right light the boot in itself is nice and tidy all the way across as is the rear window and that lovely plastic scuttle no corrosion coming through near that coming down that left hand side rear quarter and arch again lovely and tidy around the arch no corrosion coming through there at all you can see that on the camera i'll come back a little bit so you can study that a little bit harder and nice and tidy down that whole rear quarter on the left hand side we'll do the lower half of the plastic molding first nice and tidy across the left hand side as you come up the door it's lovely and straight no big dings or dents a little bit of flaking to actually the inside of the handle there no big chips out the back edge of the door nice and tidy down that left hand side door again the odd little imperfection in the paint roof nice and straight from the left hand side no complaints there, that's a little bit of ice because it's so cold in here today, it's not pain flake. Wing rear cap again is crack free on the on the left hand side. Coming back down the wing, like I see, you can see a little bit of scratching to the top of the lacquer there on that left hand side front wing. On to the interior now. Driver's door card there, lovely and tidy on the door card. No complaints at all with that one, a little bit of a mark to the top of the door card there, but no heavy scratching to the plastics. And all the buttons are nice and clear as well, no real wear to those. As you come up the driver's seat, we'll see a little bit of a nick here and a little bit of wear to the bottom there. A couple of nicks out the side. But apart from that, it's lovely and tidy. Very, very comfy, this one. 
Steam wheel is in lovely condition with your radio controls on the bottom of the steam wheel, which I think is absolutely amazing. As you come across the dashboard, no cracks across there, and down the centre console, lovely and tidy, all the way down the centre console, nice and standard. And there's your overdrive button on the side of the gear stick. Plastics are all good with no heavy scratching. Headlining is nice and clean and tidy. We're going to fold this seat forward. Lovely and tidy on the rear seats from the right hand side. All nice and straight across there. The dials are all clear. All the, all the uh, pixels are nice and fresh as well. Into the boot now. Nice big boot on this one. Lovely and tidy in the boot there. We'll lift up the floor. So we can have a look at the boot floor. Nice and oh, lovely in there. You've got your space saver, your triangles there, all your tools are there as well. Lovely and tidy in the boot floor. It's also nice to see a parcel shelf intact on the rear of this one. Left hand side front, and again, lovely and tidy on the door card, no rips or tears, no heavy wear to the plastics, no scratching there. Really nice and clean and tidy from the left hand side of the dashboard. And as you come up the seat, we've got no real wear to that passenger seat, no rips or tears, cigarette burns, anything nasty at all in there. Both seats folding forward as they should. And again, a really comfy rear seat. Got a lovely concave on the rear seat on this one. Nice and fresh in there, no nasty smells at all. Onto the engine, I mean, that's it's a 3 litre V6, this one. Bonnet rams are a little bit soft. I want to get James to fire it in a life for us. It has got a factory mobiliser, you just click the button once, click it again and away she goes. No complaints at all from that. Aftermarket air box on there, what air filters. Lovely and happy on the tip over, lovely and smooth. Proper, proper car, this one. And there you have it, a 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. There, GTO, sorry. Lovely and fresh, all the way around. Imported in 1999. 